Shepard with Pamela Shep Productions, and today we're doing the Dollar Tree makeup. I changed the setup a little bit. Hopefully this will work. I've got two different lights going on, and I moved the camera over a little bit closer by where the mirror is so I can look more at you guys straight on when you see the mirror. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I've got my Dollar Tree makeup here, and here, here we go. First thing I want you to notice is I don't have... I don't have the uh, blow dryer in the sink. Now, I, many of you told me, you have your blow dryer in the sink, that's dangerous. Yeah, I know, I kind of forgot about it. Okay, first thing that I'm gonna do is, this is the primer from the Dollar Tree, the primer. Um, it's nice and, it's nice and, uh, Oh, it feels good. Maybe I'll just use a lot of it uh, instead of using, um, you know what I should have done was use olive oil. Olive oil is good. You can use olive oil for all kinds of things. So, okay, we're gonna, oh, my face is so dry. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, then this just kind of, after that, it just kind of stops. So I don't think it's going to, the, oh, I don't, this, uh, oh, maybe I put a lot though. This is a little bit sticky. I don't know. It's a little bit sticky, I have to say. All right, we'll see what we can do about it. Oh, that stuff's sticky. Wow. Okay, then. Hmm. All right. So here's the here's the two different makeups. Um, I'm gonna wear the darker one because this one's lighter. I'm gonna use the pinker. I have a little bit more pinker tones um, in my undertones of my skin. Well, oh that oh oh okay. So this is a pump. All right then. Well, hmm. I'm just going to do it like that to start with. But we're going to use these little, um, oh, let's use this cutesy little one. So I'm going to wet it with water. Okay, we're going to do like this. It says that it's pretty good coverage. We'll see. Mm, okay, let's put some right on this. We'll see, I don't know. We could use one of the brushes from the Dollar Tree. All right, got to put a headband on. I'm going to color my hair tomorrow on video. That'll be fun. Uh, normally, when I do my hair, uh, when I just wear the six weeks, it doesn't leave a big, it does, it does show gray. So, I mean, it does show gray. Um, but it, um, it doesn't make such a big, gigantic strip and stripe. A, I call it the skunk stripe. Um, now this is, it doesn't have very much in it. And it's, um, I feel like it's taking a lot. Well, let's use one of this one, I guess. Oh, I don't know. That doesn't. Hmm. We're going to do it. We don't care. We're going to do the whole thing. There are some of the products that are really great and some of them not so much, but it's okay. You can use some, some of one kind, some of another kind. Uh, I feel like my, it's just getting, my hands are getting stuck in the tracks. Not real. Okay. And I'm going with hubby today after we get down here. We got to go pick up some supplies for his building and maybe get something, go out to eat. We still have some of our gift cards that our kids give us. We love that. That's such a fun little date for us. Okay. And, and you don't, and you feel like you're not like all spending the money. <laughs> 
Well, hmm. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're going to stop with that for a minute. Otherwise, I'm going to use the whole bottle, I think. All right. So then let's use this. This is like a concealer. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put some here and here. Here and here. You know, when I was doing, when we had the dinner theater, we wanted to make people look older. We would put dark and we'd have them scrunch their face up and put dark in all the lines. And everywhere they had lines, we'd put dark to make them look older. So when you have those big old holes, um, if you put light, if it, if it sinks down and you put light in those little lines, it's supposed to make them look like they come out so you don't show such a a hole there. But now you do have to remember my camera's coming from up under and um, I don't know. I'm gonna put some of that like I, uh, wow. Now I have a bunch of makeup from other places too, so we're gonna we're gonna use a bunch of different ones. I have some Estee Lauder and I have uh, all kinds of stuff. We're gonna try. Let's let's make a, a line there and there, and then we'll do our line like that. Hmm. I don't know if this camera, um, I don't know if you like this, this camera, um, view. We'll try it and see what you think. Uh, I do know that the, cons the, uh, contour pencil is pretty good. I've used it before, so we'll try to use that. We're just going to try to get these little deep lines to look lighter. Okay. That was this um, concealer. Essentially ageless. Can't really read it too good. Okay, so now I'm going to use the contour pencil. See? I'm going to contour. Do, do, do. Some up there, some up there, some down my nose, some down my nose. Ooh, a little bit under my lip. It's very creamy. Very creamy so far. And we're going to use this contour brush that, uh, we got at the Dollar Tree. This one is Wet and Wild. I like Wet and Wild brushes actually, pretty okay. Oh. Okay, okay, we'll go right under here. Uh huh. Not bad, not bad at all, right? I like the contour pencil. That one gets a high vote for me. And these wet and wild brushes, pretty okay. I don't know if I would buy the makeup again, because I mean, I don't know. just don't know which way to put the camera. I think that's good. I don't know about this view with the camera. We're going to do it on each side of my nose. Okay, and then I'm going to take this. It had a little bit more of the foundation on it, you know, and clean it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then 
you need a, you know, definite, you need a, remember my round face, we're going for the oval. Try to take some of this round face look off. Okay, so let's take a little bit of this. Well, you know what let's do? Let's use a little bit of the light makeup. The lighter makeup. Ooh. And put it down here. I didn't get any powder ex at all from the Dollar Tree. And I didn't see any finishing spray at all. So I didn't get any of that. I could have used the, um, I think I had the wet and wild one. We could use that when we're done. Okay. I would think a little bit more. They have other colors of this too. I think I had told you this one was light medium. I might get a little bit darker one. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay. Not bad. I mean, if all you had was all of the Dollar Tree makeup, you, you could make it work. I would get a little bit different foundation. I would get, a, like, either a Maybelline or a, a L'Oreal or something different. But we're going to have, I have several we're going to try, too. Okay, so now we're going to try the blush. Oh, this one is called Toast. And I'm going to use the one that said it was a blush makeup brush. I think it was this one. Okay, we're going to do that. And I know I've used this toast before when we had the dinner theater, you know. We would even, you know, make up the men and all that too, so. Okay. There's a, they used to have a bunch of different colors. Huh, okay, well let's, let's go on to the next. On which color to use? Well, today I'm going to use this one. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, so I've got three. So I'm going to use one of them for the really light color all over, and one of them for the crease, and one of them to blend. I think this light one I'll use for the light. And we're going to start off with this really light color. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty powdery. Uh... I'm going to do it all the way up here like this. Okay. See, he's got a lot of fallout. So that's where maybe doing your eyes first or make sure and knock it off if it's too much. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and put it where my eyebrows go too. <laughs> maybe the eyebrow pencil will work better. Okay, we're going to use the light all over really nice and white okay now alrighty nice and white nice and white wonder if these lights would look better down lower I don't know okay it looks like a clown a bit doesn't it okay so then we're gonna take this shaped one and I'm going to use, I'm going to use this color that's kind of a taupe right here. I'm going to use that that's kind of a taupe up here like this. Then I'm going to add some of the pink. Okay, I'm going to use that taupe a little bit more. Okay. 
I'm going to try to leave the white down here a little bit more. Maybe that's where I should put the pink. My face is a little bit sticky. I don't know if it's from the makeup or that um, primer. It's a blur primer, it says. Okay, okay so I'm going to take the pink. I love pink. See what we think about that. Very gentle. <laughs> what are you guys thinking so far? Uh, no, you can use any makeup. These are kind of... Let me use the one up above there. That's matte. It's not... It doesn't have the shine in it as much. I think sometimes that looks better on older people because just matte because the shiny stuff kind of shows our wrinkles <sighs> which you know sometimes we earn those wrinkles don't we okay hmm well let's just keep going right okay so we'll put those brushes back sorry hit the camera and then um I'm going to take, I have over here a little tiny, this is the brush that I got at the Dollar Tree before. They didn't have them this time, but this is the Wet n Wild little bitty brushes. And I'm going to take one of these, this darker brown, if you will, and I'm going to put it under there just to help it a little bit. Almost like make a little smoky eye. Yeah. Let's take that and add a little bit more depth to it. There we go. And that's, I'm using this one here that's kind of a matte color. And I'm putting it in the, over top of the shiny stuff. This is that really pretty little pink. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. That little pink right there. This one. Like that. Okay. Uh, angled brush. And I'm going to blend it all. Up there. So that it blends together. I don't know about this weird look right here with older skin. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Okay, well, we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. Okay, now let's work on our eyebrows. Now, remember we had the three different colors for the eyebrows. These are my computer glasses, but oh, I just got my fingerprint all over it. So then I'm gonna put, uh, some eyeliner on. Well, we've got these little black. Oh, wait, I had that one really good black long pen pencil. Remember this one? This one was wet and wild. Let's try that on my eye on the bottom. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, pre it's pretty creamy. Um, I don't know if it would stay there without some kind of powder, but I do know the Lime Life one just stays and it's really good. But this I think will do okay and I'm going to Come up here and put it under my eyelashes. Like that. And under my eyelashes. Oh, I forgot to curl. Oh, ouch. Stuck it right in my eye. That's crazy. I could slow down a bit, you know. I could slow down a bit. Yeah, see this is already trying to run a bit. And of course that one when it's stuck in my eye is watering. Well, that's kind of drying because it's a little bit wet. 
Um, I'm going to use the little eyelash color, which I should have done first. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, see, it's getting the little eyelashes in there. Yeah, it took off the eyeliner, too, didn't it? Should have curled them first. Kim? Second time, second time. That's where I've really got my eyes watering. <laughs> oh no, is it? Oh, I thought it was watering on the top, but it's not. It's just that shiny eyeshadow. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, see, I thought this was all wet, but it's the eyeshadow. Is that crazy? All right, so I'm gonna do this. Well, let me try. <laughs> let me try the black pencil up here. Um, you know, I also have this liquid eyeliner. Actually, I've used this before uh, when I had to do um, black nose for, a, you know, for one of the parts of the, uh, the Grand Victorian. And uh, sometimes I had to do with little whiskers and stuff. And I've used that before for that. I thought you might like to watch some of these pictures that, from the Grand Victorian where we did use some of the makeup. I thought you might get a kick out of that. So here you go. So this one um, has the it has the flimsy little deal. So I'm going to go up above, kind of close. Oops. Okay. Still making my eye water a bit. Okay, now, one of these times I'll just do all brown or gray on my eyes, no black at all, okay? I'll do that right away. Okay, so here's the mascara. Well, we had two of them, remember? Um, one of them is the pure, and the other one is LA. Look, yeah, let's use the LA color, see what we think first, okay? All right, here we go. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's this if it's this size thing on there, but it's uh, it's tending to kind of separate the eyelashes. You know, having them see what I mean, kind of far apart. Huh. See what I mean? Kind of far apart. Oops. I told you once before, when you get your eyelash stuff all up there in the top, you can take your eyeshadow pencil, uh, brush, this one, and you can do it like that, and it'll fix your mess. I don't know. Let's see, when I do this, you guys get like a just giant look up my nose. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about the angle of this camera that way. Proof, especially on the bottom. So let's try this pure. Uh, it has a much fluffier um, wand. Hmm. 
I don't know. Oh. Oops. Okay. Looks like it's just um Huh. I don't know, like clumping it together a bit or something. I'm sorry, this is not a good angle to do um, eyelashes because, hey, let me push that down much better. No, because you can <clears throat> you see right up my nose. Gosh. Oh, that's another thing. We get hairs in our nose. And so you, ha you need to very carefully... I have very good scissors because I, I cut hair, but um, be very careful. But when you're cutting those hairs, you know, just push it up like that. And, and uh, now they make little nose hair, little scissor things or cutters or little shavers. But... I don't know, I use my hair scissors. Um, you need to be really careful. Not cut your nose. But you don't want big hairs hanging out your nose. Oh, that's pretty ugly. Okay, well, I'm thinking the mascara is not the best way to go from the Dollar Tree. If people use Dollar Tree mascara, that's probably why they have to use fake eyelashes. That's terrible. My vote for the uh, mascara from the Dollar Tree is no. Uh, if you spend just a little bit more, you know, get Maybelline or L'Oreal or Rimmel or... Uh, Wet n' Wild, but I can tell you this pencil from Wet n' Wild, um, it's not going to stay without powder. Now, I didn't show these before, but I had these in a drawer. These lipstick liners I got from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. I think the reason I didn't buy these is because I knew I had some. And this, these are the two different colors. One is kind of a uh, chocolate one's kind of a mauve so let's let's use this one we're gonna try it this must have been in the mauve a little bit more pink red yeah this angle is just gonna keep getting up my nose isn't it sorry We'll, we'll do it different next time, too. All right, so we've got these colors. Um, so this one is kind of... That's kind of nice. And this one is kind of in the same pinky colors. Let's go with the pinky one, and we'll see uh, how it goes on. Okay, so you twist this up. Yeah, it's kind of creamy. Oh, I got black on my face right there. It's because I have black on my hands, see? Little dude. Okay, so now I am going to try to use this other side. Hmm. And see, yeah. it tastes like a familiar candy. Hmm. Now and then, or I've tasted this before. Maybe bubble gum? I don't know. You know, another thing, you can always use, if you like the browner tones, you can always use some of this for lip liner, you know? 
your eye, uh, eyebrow pencils. Some of those are a good color. Now, I don't have any spray. Let me grab it and I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. It's the e.l.f., not Wet n' Wild. It's e.l.f. Finish Spray. And finish sprays do make a difference, actually. So I'm going to... I'm going to use it. Whoa. Is that the finish spray? It's so wet. Makeup set. It is. Whoo. There. Whoo. Okay. So, I don't know. Here's what you got. I don't know if my camera is picking it up good today or not, but, um, you know, in my mirror and with these lights, it looks okay, but um, I, I mean, I, I think it's okay. So tell me what you think. Dollar Tree, everything Dollar Tree. So let me find some earrings and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my makeup on. Okay, so let's talk about the makeup. I would say yes to the contour uh, pencil. Yes to the contour pencil. Um, no to the makeup. No to the mascara. Yes to the eyebrow pencils. Um, all, all of those eyebrow pencils, those are okay. Uh, most All this lipstick, I, it was pretty okay. Now, I don't know how long it'll stay on, but... You know, I tried the kind that come like this. And they had some fairly decent colors. So, yes to the lipsticks. They're they're fine. You know, they're okay. Um, the concealer, uh, Wet n' Wild would probably be better. Or Elf. Elf even. Elf has really good ones. Of course, Maybelline. And, of course, uh, L'Oreal. And you get on up into the higher higher ones but those are okay the eyeshadows i think they're fine um they do have a lot of fallout i had it all over my shirt and um so you have to tap them off and you have to really put them on because of the pigment of them but you know they're not that bad really they're not that bad i like the lip liners um i've used those for a long time the different lip liners the black Wet n' Wild is okay. They weren't staying on. Anyhow, that's what I've got. That's what I got. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like the video. Tell me what your thoughts are on the Dollar Tree makeup. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll talk to you on the next video pretty soon, okay? Bye. Bye.